Our team of reporters are covering all of the new developments today. We want to begin with Mike LaCrosse, who is live in Boston tonight. Mike? David, Lisa, state health officials met today as they continued to address the coronavirus. The commissioner says they were tracking the virus before it got here to the U.S., and they're adjusting their plans as it spreads around the state. Our goal here is for our residents of the Commonwealth to be prepared and informed and ready. Massachusetts health officials say they're working 24-7 to address the coronavirus. COVID-19 is an evolving disease, and it's very important to stay informed because information changes as this new disease evolves. There are a total of 95 presumptive cases in the state, and right now more than 400 people are under self-quarantine because of the coronavirus. This as health officials are still investigating how the virus spread person to person in the western part of the state. What we're seeing in Berkshire County is that there may be signs of localized community spread. It's individuals where we're not sure how they contracted it. Needham has a confirmed case of the coronavirus, and Wednesday, the town closed the senior center until further notice. It's unfortunate that we can't serve them, but we're taking the steps we took out of an abundance of caution to protect the seniors' health. 90-year-old Tom Gallant is disappointed the center on the heights is shut down, but understands the precaution. It's a good thing. It's a... Uh... I hate to see it closed. Most of the people that come here, this is part of their life, an important part of their life, you know. The state health officials say they're getting a shipment of supplies from the federal government to help protect workers treating patients. Reporting live from outside the State House tonight, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.